Hey there, this is Fabian from LifeSparring.com and I'm here with uh, another one of my dirty unboxing videos. So just as a reminder, dirty unboxing videos um, are called dirty because they are minimally produced, pretty much uncut. Normally I really live unwrap something that I just got that I haven't seen uh, myself yet. Um, I try it out, I tell you my first impression completely unfiltered. And uh, today we are doing that with the Contact SB80B Spirometer. So you might have a few questions here, like first, what is a spirometer? And second, why did I get one? And why do I need one? Um, to answer the first question, a spirometer is essentially a medical device to check your lung function. It does that by... Um, by measuring your breath when you forcefully breathe out into the device. You have to imagine it's pretty much like a breathalyzer that the police uh, uses um, to check your alcohol, only that um, the spirometer measures um, yeah, with how much force you are able to breathe out, uh, how much volume you actually breathe out, and it also me measures, measures the, the speed of your breath, the flow of your breath at uh, different time intervals. And yeah, it, it uh, pretty much creates a full picture of your lung, cap lung capacity, your capability to breathe uh, over all your lung function. So why am I interested in this and why did I buy one? Well, I'm a bad breather. Um, so that's pretty much it. So I'm just, um, I suck at breathing. Um, I always, um, yeah, it's not that I'm short of breath, etc., but I, I can't hold my, my um, air very long and I always have problems to blow up a balloon. Um, so I'm aware of this and I'm a runner. So I'm, of course, always interested to see um, is there something I can do to improve? And that's actually what I wanted, always wanted to do. I wanted to try um, to learn breathing. And um, of course, if you do that, you need some kind of training regime. So I got a long time ago, many years ago, actually, I got uh, the O2 inspiratory muscle trainer, like promoted by um, Bas Rutten of uh, yeah, MMA fame. I also have one of those uh, training masks. You see, this is not even, this is, this is a very old model. I think in the meantime, they have uh, much more advanced models. But I bought those um, yeah, not because yeah, I was uh, expecting elevation training, etc., but exactly for that reason that I wanted to train um, or experiment with uh, yeah, training my inspiratory muscles. But um, I never really got to it. And I was missing a tool to be actually able to check if all those training really make a difference other than just anecdotal evidence. And that's actually what it um, yeah, got down to. So my idea, of course, is to use the spirometer to measure my lung function, um, to set kind of a baseline, and then um, experiment with uh, different forms of breath training, document it and see if I can actually um, see a difference in terms of volume. Supposedly not. I think lung volume should be pretty much fixed. But maybe if you're able kind of really to strengthen your um, muscles, um, probably something like, um, yeah, like the um, peak expiratory flow, which is kind of like the, the strongest um, flow that um, you are creating when you're breathing out, maybe I would be able to um, increase it. That's pretty much it. That's why I got it. Um, I spent around 885 US dollar um, for it, uh, bought it um, from AliExpress, but you can buy contact devices um, also on Amazon on, on the um, main channels. I think I will uh, most likely add an affiliate link um, to the description. Um, yeah, contact is a pretty um, pretty good manufacturer. They manufacture for clinics, for for but also for consumer devices. They have um, um, yeah for human medical devices. They do um, items for pets. A very interesting company um, and yeah they sell directly in China to um, via all the major platforms so the devices are affordable 
and um, normally of really decent quality. So I have um, multiple contact devices. I have a urine uh, ur urine uh, analyzing um, device from contact too. Okay, but yeah, long story short, this is the packaging, pretty decently looking. Um, let's cut straight to it and take a look. So I bought this actually, I think on a single day um, special offer back in November. And um, it's, yeah, I was waiting for a good opportunity to unpack it and um, share it with you guys. So as I said, packaging is pretty straightforward. Um, English description, um, QR code on it. It's actually, it's a plastic box, which is kind of cool. It's not a carton box, it's a plastic box. Didn't know this. Um, so inside, in the lid, um, QR code. Uh, you can't really see it that well with the camera here. Maybe this camera. Uh, there's a QR code um, with a menu. That's pretty clever. The device itself. Pretty sleek, I would say. Divider, then mouthpiece. There are actually two in case you want to use the device with somebody else and share it. Charging cable, um, quality certificate, and yeah, also like a small menu. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, is that surprising? I didn't even realize that it's, it's a plastic box, so it's a nice storage box. Um, yeah, that's the device. Let's see where the mouse piece goes. It should be in the front. Like this. loading do you want to edit your personal information let me do briefly gender male age 20 i wish i'm not 20 anymore ah do i wish it i don't know i'm not 100 percent sure if i would want to wish to be 20 again so i'm still 43 so you set up your height in centimeters. Pretty sure you could set it also in feet. Then the weight. Okay, definitely not 50 kg. Okay, you can hear how often I punch in <laughs> that I'm not I'm not saying how much I weigh right now. Okay, equation smoker no. I think that's it. Testing performs a test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That's the problem with uncut videos, right? They can sometimes be pretty boring when nothing is happening. The device is still testing. Maybe I have to cut a minute out later. <laughs> yeah, I can play with the other things that I have. So I think I'm, I'm going to do a test of the um, of Bas Rutten's um, inspiratory muscle trainer um, eventually. Um, this is a fun device. It's um, yeah, it's it's a whole box. Looks like this. Um, looks a little bit um, as if you yeah would go down and snorkel. So 
it looks like this. So the device in the meantime said bye bye. Um, <laughs> maybe this is already the test. I'm not sure. Maybe it just expected me to blow. I don't know. It didn't say. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty bad first attempt. Yeah, so I think if it says testing, it's not testing. It means it's ready to be to test. So this was kind of my little bad inhale. I mean, you can barely see it. Yeah. So what does it da do? It has some. Yeah, FVC, which is the. Forced vital capacity, so my lung capacity, and then FVV1, so it's after one second, um, how many um, liters still had, then how many, like the PEF is the, the, the peak um, expiratory flow um, yeah, in liters per second, and then there's a ratio between those two, and then there's FEV 25, FEV 50, FEV 75, so it simply kind of takes your measure in different times. So uh, it works. Let me just do one more for good measure. Yeah, it's a fun test, fun thing if you kind of do things live without uh, properly trying anything before. Yeah, it has some charts on it here. It's the curve. So one more time, if I just started, just press the power button. It's loading. Do you want to edit personal information? No, I have my information. And then it's already testing. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a bit better. Um, at least um, <laughs> four liters, but I don't think it's just, I think I have to practice a bit. Um, yeah, but the main point, it, it works. It produces data. I cannot say much yet about the accuracy, but uh, I will play with it and I will dig into it. Um, yeah, and as I said before, um, what I then will do is um, I will experiment a little bit um, with the different trainers. Um, yeah, I mean, the two training, like the training mass, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I have not that much confidence uh, in its usefulness. The bus routine trainer is actually quite quite interesting because yeah it, it um, restricts um, the air um, coming in it lets you blow out um, air and uh, it makes it simply harder for you to kind of um, yeah, exchange air and by that um, is um, claiming that you are actually strengthening your um, your muscles around your lung and yeah that's definitely what I want to want to try and what I experiment with. I'm for sure doing like a deeper review and um, yeah, a proper documentation of the test that I'm running and um, yeah, include a bit more details on on the two training devices. Um, yeah, and uh, if this is something that you're interested in, then uh, subscribe to the channel, um, follow the blog, follow the podcast. I'm covering a lot of topics around quantified self, around self improvement. Not always just medical and physical, but um, yeah, very happy for everybody who's uh, coming on for the ride a bit. And um, of course, um, 
very very happy to hear your feedback and also hear from you if you maybe um, have a device like this have used a device like this uh, have experience or actually can even give me some advice for my tests and with that being said um, I think we keep it relatively short and sweet thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you again soon or you see me maybe again soon take care bye